Hello everyone, welcome back to Risha Education. So we were seeing chapter two questions in which I have completed part one. I have given five solutions for question one to five. Now in this video, we will be going to give six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll try to give depending upon the video link. So let's start with the first one. So what it says in each case, perform the indicated operation. So for option A, we have indicated operation is multiplication. So we simply have to multiply it. 7 plus 5i times minus 3 plus 2i. Okay. So this will give you 7 times minus 3 is minus 21. And 5 times 2 is 10. But it will be negative 10 because i square is minus 1. And then minus and then plus i times of what it will be five threes are 15 so minus 15 and then we have plus seven twos are 14 so plus 14 which is equals to minus 31 and minus i so this will be the answer for a next what it says that in z 13 we have to find the determinant so what we do basically we simply find the determinant of this so basically determinant of seven four one five will be 7 5 are 35 and minus 1, uh, minus 4. So it will be 31. But what happens for modulo 13, we simply find the remainder after subtracting it with 13, 26 and so on. So this is congruent to 5 mod 13. Why? Because 13 into 2 are 26 and 31 minus 26 gives you 5. So that is why uh, the determinant of this will be 5. Okay, so next C, what C says, uh, so we have to simply find the inverse. Uh, so A is this, 6, 8, 3, 2. We have to find A inverse. So first of all, we know that we have to find the determinant of A, which is equals to 12 minus 24, which is equals to minus 12. Now what we do for A inverse, I will give you a sort trick, which is equals to 1 over determinant of A, which is 1 over 12. And then what we do, we simply exchange these two. So after exchanging, we get two and six. And for these two, we just multiply with negative sign. So it will be minus three and it will be minus eight. So this will be the inverse of A or you can simplify it to one over 12. And this will be minus two, three, eight and minus six. So this will be the answer. Now, this, uh, this was the C number and last D. So for D, what are you going to do? It's very interesting as well because what happens? A is given as 2, 1, 1 and 3. Okay. Now, what happens? We have to find the A inverse. So first of all, we will find determinant which is equals to 6 minus 1 which is equals to 5. Okay. Now what we do? We simply find inverse which is equals to 1 over 5. Again, same trick. 3, 2, minus 1, minus 1. Okay. Now, but we are asked here to find in Z7. Okay. So for Z7, what we do? We try to get something in above. Because 5 with 7. So suppose I multiply this with 3. Okay. Why I am multiplying with 3? I am telling you because in, in the denominator, we will get 15. And 15 is congruent to 1 mod 7. Okay. Okay, so that is why we are multiplying with 3. So we get 3 and in denominator we get 1. And now we will have 3 times minus 1, minus 1 and 2. We'll multiply this and we get 3, 3 is 9. Minus 3, minus 3 and 3, 2 are 6. But what happens? 9 modulo 7 is 2. Minus 3 modulo 7 is 4. Again, 4 and 6. So this will be the answer. Or you can say A inverse is equals to this in Z7, of course. So what I did, firstly, I find the uh, determinant and did the modulo. But here it was less than 7. So that is why we have only 5. Now for A inverse, I simply do 1 upon 5. Exchange these two and negative sign with these two. Now what happens, I have to free the denominator. So basically, I have to make 1 in the denominator. But we know that 15 modulo 7 is 1. So that is why we multiplied with 3 in both the numerator and denominator and we arrived at 3 and after multiplying we got our answer. Okay, hope it's clear. Let's move on to the next question. 
So it's question number seven. Give two reasons why the set of odd integers under addition is not a group. So first of all, make some odd integers. So Z, O, I am naming this. This will contain 2K plus one type where K belongs to integer. Okay. Now, suppose I take two elements. So 2K plus one or 2K one plus one and plus 2K two plus two, one. Then what we will get? We will get two times of K1 plus K2 and plus 2, which ultimately becomes two times of K1 plus K2 plus 1. So this is an integer and multiplying by 2, we get an odd integer, uh, sorry, an even integer. So we get a even an even integer. So this implies that Z O is not closed under addition. Clearly, so this was the first reason. And the second reason why it's not there, because we know that associativity will follow by the subset property, but what happens to the identity? So suppose I take A from ZO, then from identity rule, we know that A plus E is equals to A, which simply implies E is equals to zero, but zero does not belongs to ZO. So no identity element. Hence, not a group. So we found two reasons why this is not a group. Next, move on to the question number eight. It says that list the element of U20. So first of all, let me clear you what is UN. In this, all those X come such that X is in between one to n, but GCD of x and n must be 1. Okay. So if you take u20, what happens? 1 will be there. Now 2 is not there because 2 and 20 GCD is 2. 3 will be there. 4 is not there. 5 is there. 5 is not there because 5 and 20 is 5 again. 6 is not there because it's 2. 7 will be there. 8 is not there because 4 is the GCD. 9 will be there, 10 is not there, 11 is there, 13 is there. Next what? 1, 3, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 14 is not there, 15 is not there, 17 is there, and 19 is there. So this will be the answer. Remaining why it is not there? Because all the elements have GCD with 20 not equals to 1, or you can say greater than 1, basically. So this is the answer. Next, move on to the question number 9. So that one, two, three means this under multiplication modulo four is not a group, but this under multiplication modulo four, among multiplication modulo five is a group. So why this happened? Uh, you can show this by Cali table as well, but I will simply say that one, two, three is not a group under multiplication modulo four because, so if you say two, what will be the inverse of 2? Suppose I multiply 2 times 2, which is equals to 4. And if I do modulo 4, then it will give you 0. Okay. That means inverse of 2 does not exist. Simply, I can say that inverse of 2 does not exist. Okay. Inverse of 2 does not exist. That is why this is this does not forms a group. Even I can say that Zn forms a group under multiplication modulo n when n is prime. Next, I can say that 1, 2, 3, 4 is a group under multiplication modulo 5. Why? Because closer is satisfied. You can check. Suppose 2 into 3 is 5, uh, 6, 6 modulo 5 is 1, 2 into 4, 8, modulo 5 is 3. So you get everything. Now, what happens? Uh, closer is satisfied. Now for the identity, we have one. So one is the identity element. Associativity is followed by the properties. Now the last is inverse. So inverse of two uh, and inverse of three is equal. So you can say that two inverse is equal to three and three inverse is equal to two. Why? Two threes are six. So that is where six modulo five is one and three twos are six modulo five is one. 
and for one kind one inverse is one and four inverse will be four itself why because four folds are 16 and 16 modulo 5 gives one as a result so i hope you understand why this is not a group you can even make a cali table simply So it will be one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you will see that the all elements does not belong or something like that. One, 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 two, three, two, three, two, two, four. So it will be zero, three, two, six. It will be two, three, two, three, three, two, three, six. It will be two and three, three, nine. Nine modulo four will be one. Yeah. So you can see zero came somewhere else and all these happens and inverse of three is three of um, of course but rest you do not get inverse of two basically so that is why this is not a group so question number 10 so this is the last question so we have so that gl2r in example nine so what was example nine let me remind you example nine was simply saying that what is gl2r so this is A, B, C, D, such that A, B, C, D belongs to real number and A, D minus B, C is not equals to zero. Okay. So this is basically zero to R is non-abelian. Okay. By exhibiting a pair of matrices. So we have to find a pair of matrices in which it shows that it is non-abelian. So I have done it before, but let us do once again. So I am considering A as 1, 0, 0, 0. And considering B as 1, 1, 0, 0. Now when you find A, B, then it will be 1, 0, 0, 0 times 1, 1, 0, 0. So it will be 1. Rest will be 0. But if you find B A, then this will be one one zero zero, and it will be one zero zero zero, and if you start finding this, it will give you one one zero zero. So from here you can say that A B is not equals to B A, and we came to the end of this video, and in the next video I will be solving another five question. For that, stay tuned. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and share with your friends who needed it and thanks for watching.